this uh, uh, period, festive season, it was very difficult for, for us, for the old family. We didn't celebrate like all year. It's like the, it's open again our wounds, especially today. It's reminding me the last time we had together when I took him to school. And I remember the last moment we had together a team at the Backdown Boys. He, that day, I can remember the way he was so quiet. I don't know why. I told him that my last word it was when I asked him, did you find already a friend at school? He told me, no, ma'am. I'll, I'll, I'll find a friend. Then after that, they went to the hall for a meeting. When they came out, he told me that, ma'am, I find, I have two friends already. And uh, I was accompanying him outside to the, to the bus. And I remember I put the spray in his bag. I took out his spray. I sprayed him. That was our last day and moment without knowing that it's not gonna come back to, to me. He went without saying goodbye to us. Justice is not only money. Maybe people think that justice is money. Enoch is a, he was a human being. He has a right to, to live. Under the caretaker. We leave the child under people's responsibilities and we trusted them. All what I want is the justice to do their job. If they're gonna, I, I want accountability. I want some people to be arrested so that is gonna stop this thing of killing children. It's free, he's working free. He's there with his family. I think every day he's doing, he's, he's telling the children that I love you. I love you, my kids. What about me? Enough is gone. If those kind of people, they are not punished, they will continue to do the same thing over and over. This situation that I'm going through, I cannot accept it to see to happen, happen to another family, to another parent. It's very painful. It's very painful. For that point, I think the Department of Education, they must be very strict with their workers.